Hello everyone, I am Boran. In this video, I will solve a question about series RLC circuit with uh, AC voltage source. So this is the question. Uh, I will not bother you with the values of the components. Uh, so the first question is, what is the impedance of the circuit? Uh, if you if you remember, the formula is that impedance total impedance equals to impedance of L minus V uh, squared plus uh, impedance of R which is R A degree square minus square so this is the formula that gives the total impedance um, if you are given with the values such as omega or uh, C or L you can calculate uh, these expressions and and then you can calculate the total uh, impedance of the circuit. Uh, the next question is what is the phase difference between uh, the current and EMF? Uh, so in the circuit there is not thing that changes the phase of the current. Uh, so for example uh, if this is time axis if the input voltage uh, is something like this uh, the output, not output, the current will also be similar to this one for example mm, let's say make something like this so um, the W values for both signals, uh, signals are the same, uh, but also uh, no, yes, uh, the W values for the signals are the same, but uh, the differences are uh, the phase and the uh, magnitude of them. So let's assume that the current in the circuit is the current on, uh, in the circuit is I. I zero, let's say sine omega t minus a phase. So as I said you before, this is sinusoidal, and uh, we have omega here, and the same omega with the voltage. Uh, the difference is the phase and the magnitude. Uh, so let's take the phases geometrically now originally we have uh, this input voltage let's say this one now this is w, w t omega t sorry and we have here this is the magnitude of w0 uh, we have here zero times sine omega t. Now we assume that the current uh, has a phase shift. Let's say this one. This is omega t minus phase. Mm, this is the current here. And if you take this sine you will have IT. Um, if you remember, uh, for the capacitors, uh, the current leads the voltage. So we have capacitive voltage here behind the current with uh, 90 degrees, the capacitance. And for the inductance, the voltage leads the uh, current. So we have something like this. This is VL. Now, in order to calculate the phase shift, if you uh, pay attention, this is the phase. Uh, we will just do geometry. So, now, oh, sorry, this is I0. Uh, I By the way, I forgot, uh, for the resistor, uh, there is no phase between voltage and the current so 
this is Vr. Now, this magnitude is Vl minus Vc. So we can calculate this angle equals to our pump uh, Vl minus Vc divided by Vr. Now, what are those? Vl is I I zero times uh, impedance of the uh, inductance plus I zero times impedance of the capacitor divided by I zero times impedance of the resistance, which is actually R. Now you can just divide it. So we have the phase difference of. Sorry, this is minus minus V divided by R. So this is the difference, a phase difference between EMF and the current. Also, we need to find uh, we need to find an expression for uh, the current. Now we know this. We found this one. We uh, we are given with omega in the question. Uh, all we need to find I0, the magnitude. Now, uh, you can calculate the magnitude by simply writing um, hold on we are yeah. now V0 equals to Vl minus Vc square plus uh, Vr square in square root so we, we can find D0 as this one uh, by using this notation uh, you should also open the all of these V0 equals to um, I zero times x l minus I zero times x c square root plus uh, I zero r square. So this is V zero. Uh, in order to find I zero, we should divide V zero with the infinite. So, if you take I0 to the outside, this gives you I0 times uh, square root of XL minus XC square plus R square. So, uh, this expression here is the same as this one. So, this is I0 actually. Uh, but but when you have the component values, you'll find a value here. So let's just say, stay here. This is how you find I0. Uh, so you have all the unknowns in the expression here. So we have found the current in the circuit. Thank you for listening.